for those who are using VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and INDEX and MATCH for lookups and you have Office 365, there is a new formula that will revolutionize the game. This formula is called XLOOKUP. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you seven scenarios where you can use XLOOKUP. So stay tuned because I'm going to start from the most basic to the most advanced and I can guarantee you that at the end of this tutorial, you will switch to XLOOKUP. So let's start. The first point is to show you how this can replace VLOOKUP. So here I have a simple table with year, name and sales and I want to get the sales based on the name of the agent. So I'll use my new formula, which is called XLOOKUP, open parenthesis. My lookup value will be my agent. My lookup array will be this. In VLOOKUP, you needed to select the whole range. And if you had columns in the middle, you needed to select them. Here, you only select the range where you're going to do the lookup. And then you do comma, you have a return array. So that's my sales. And if you see again, it has separated the lookup value from the return value. So now if my return value is very far, it's very easy for me to use this X lookup. And in V lookup, if you remember, we needed an exact match. So we had to put a false argument. In this one, it is the default case. So you don't have to do anything more. The other three arguments are optional. So I don't want them. So I can just close my parenthesis and press enter and you get 89. Now what happens when you select an agent that is not in the list? For example, agent 11. Like VLOOKUP, it is giving an error. So how do I treat this error? Well, basically I can just go to the formula and if you see after the comma, I have if not found. So what do I want to write if it's not found? I'm just gonna do double quotation, NA, and then double quotation and then enter. And you see, I get NA. In the VLOOKUP, you had to do if error or something like this to treat the error cases. In this case, you can treat them very easily by just adding an argument. Case number two, something that is referred to left lookup. So as you know, a VLOOKUP will work from the left till the right, but it's not gonna work from the right to the left. So in this scenario, I have the names here and I have the sales here. So what can I do? I can use an X lookup. So equal X lookup, open parenthesis. My lookup value is my agent, comma, lookup array. The array is here. Then comma, return array, it's my sales. And then I can close the parenthesis and we get 89. So as simple as that, because it has separated both columns, the column where I look up for the value and the column where I return a value, it becomes very easy to do a left lookup. In previous cases, either you had to copy paste the sales data here or do index and match. Third case, X lookup can also replace H lookup. So here I have the same data, but it is in this format. So what can I do to get the sales for agent one? equal x lookup open parenthesis this is my lookup value comma my lookup array is this comma my return array is this one and then i can close the parenthesis press enter i get the same 89 and notice here also how 89 is above the name which means that if i had to use an h lookup it would have not worked in this case with XLOOKUP, it works very easily. Number four, two ways lookup. And this is also when you use index and match. So here I have the same data set, but I have the bonus. So I'm going to select an agent and then either I select bonus or sales, one of those two columns, and I want to get the number. So let's put here answer and let's try it out. First of all, let's do an X lookup with the agent. So X lookup, as we learned, this is the agent, comma, my lookup array is this. What is my return array? In this case, my return array is both sales and bonus because I don't know what the user will select. 
So let's select both of them and let's close the parentheses. I get 89 and 63, so both of them. Now, how can I modify this to get the right column? Basically, for this, I can transform it into another XLOOKUP to get the right column. So let's do it together. We're going to delete this range and do XLOOKUP, open parentheses. My lookup value is my bonus, comma, what is my lookup array? My lookup array is sales and bonus. And then my return array is where I'm going to get the number. So I can select the whole thing. And now what will XLOOKUP do? It will go search which column I want from those two columns and return it. So we can just close parentheses, press enter, and now we get 63. If I change this to sales, I get 89. Number five, last to first. So let's do a normal XLOOKUP. I have a table here. You now you're used to the data. So I'm going to do equal XLOOKUP, open parentheses. I select my agent. My lookup array is this one. Now I'm selecting the whole column. And then my return array is this one to get the sales. We close parentheses. We press enter. Now I got 89 for my agent, right? My agent one. The problem is I have agent one for 2021 and agent one for 2022. So what if I want to return his latest sales? Well, no problem for XLOOKUP. If I go into XLOOKUP, I have an argument called search mode. So I need to change this and give it a value. So first of all, if we do a comma, if not found, I don't want anything. So I'm going to skip it by having another comma. Then we have, if we want an exact match or not, I'm going to skip it. And then finally, here we have our search mode. In search mode, the default is search first to last. So it's going to go from here to the bottom and find the first answer, right? I have this minus one, which is search last to first. So if we start from the bottom, it will give me the first instance starting from the bottom. So I'm just going to do this. Select it. You have another couple of options. You can do a automatic sort and it will search descending and ascending, but I'm going to use this one. And then I close the parentheses and I press enter. You can see that we get this 27 number. Number six, approximate match. So here I have some agents and based on their sales, I want to know what bonus they will get. So here, for example, from 0 to 20, it's 0%, 20 to 50, 10%, 50 to 70, 20, and so on. So how do we do this? First of all, let's do X lookup. And then my lookup value is my agent, comma. What is my lookup array? It's this. Return array, first I need to get the sales, right? So let's just get our return array and then close the parentheses, and we get 89. So this is 8,900%, which is 89. Now that I got this number, I need to use this number as an input for this table to find out the percentage bonus. So this is the input. So let's do another X lookup before that. Open parentheses. This is my lookup value. It's my 89, comma. Then we have the lookup array is this, comma, my return array is my bonus percentage. If not found, we're not going to use it. So another comma, match mode. This is where I want to specify something. You have here exact match or next smaller item. What does this mean? It means either I find my 89 in this table or I will find the highest value which is lower than 89. In this example, it is 70. It's the highest value that is less than 89. So I can select this one, double click. So we get a minus one here, close the parentheses, press enter, and you get 30%, which correspond to 70 to 89. Let's select another agent so you understand it. If I have, for example, agent three, he gets 0%, why? 
because he got 19. 19 is between 0 and 20, so he gets 0%. Last one, which is the seventh, wild cards. So imagine that I don't know the name of the person exactly. I just know that it's John. Here I have John Doe, for example, and I want to get the sales for John Doe. So what I'll do is XLOOKUP. My lookup value, let's just do it normally first, is John. My array is this. And then my return array is this. Now I'm going to get an error. Why? Because John is not there, right? I have John Doe, but I don't have John. So if I close it, you get an A. What can I do to fix this? Number one, if we skip not found, match model, we can see that we have wildcard character match. So this means I'm going to use a wildcard and approximate the match. So I'm going to select this. The only thing I need to do is to fix my input. So what I could do here is double quotation star, double quotation. We use the end to concatenate. And then we're going to do the same after the John word. So and double quotation, asterisk, double quotation. What am I doing here? I am saying whatever is here before John and after John, it could be a match for me. So if I press enter, I get 89. Let's type somebody else. For example, we have Steph Curry. So for example, if I write Kerr, you can see that I get 94 because Kerr is present in Steph Curry. So that's how you can use XLOOKUP with wildcards. So all those are users of XLOOKUP. Please let me know in the comment section whether you like this formula or you're going to still continue to use VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, index and match until you get the hang of it. As you can see from this tutorial, it looks very easy. You just have to use a few arguments and know how to use them. And you can always refer to this tutorial to do it. So my advice, if you have Office 365, start using XLOOKUP.